today. Yeah, it's going to be awesome to see uh, J-Rod there in the uh, Mariners uniform just across the street here. But today we got to get through some uh, crazy weather like we were mentioning a little bit earlier, Steve. In Westport right now, we have some waves crashing in on the beach there at the uh, jetty. And you can see our temperatures in Westport are going to be in the uh, low to uh, mid 40s right now as we uh, take a look at what's happening uh, throughout the region now in our area. And we can see that we do have our uh, temperatures uh, throughout the region going to be in the upper 40s, mid to upper 40s for most everybody right Right now 49 degrees in Westport winds out of the west southwest 31 miles an hour and you can see in Seattle those waves crashing in uh, there as well with the temperature of 41 degrees with some showers that we see uh, in Seattle right now winds out of the west at 17 miles an hour so a little calmer in Seattle than it is on the coast we have a few showers and some thunderstorms coming later for your afternoon commute 47 degrees partly cloudy for your morning commute tomorrow though as you plan on things as Tuesday in the middle of next week gets a little bit calmer as we have here in Port Angeles you can see showers throughout the day today you'll top out at 48 degrees Maple Valley. You're going to get to 44 degrees in showers throughout the day as well and windy conditions as well. Let's take a look at the radar over the last couple of hours and you can see lots of thunder and lightning strikes here. Lightning strikes and we're going to take a look at that over the last four hours. This is kind of the system that moved through there a little bit north of Everett. You can see on Camano Island they probably ha heard some of those uh, thunder uh, thunder clouds and uh, those thunder boomers and we could see in Enum Claw and places like that near the foothills communities and then from Grays Harbor County all the the way over to the South Puget Sound. That's where we're seeing the bulk of those uh, lightning strikes right now, and that's what's going to be moving into the Puget Sound region and into Coma and Seattle for later afternoon and possibly into your commute time. And it's going to be windy. Here's the wind gusts over the last hour. 35 miles an hour out in Forks was the highest recorded. 40 in Seattle, 43 in Olympia, 40 in Hoquiam. So we are continuing to see those breezy conditions. Now we also have to deal not only with the wind in these areas with the high wind warning until 8 o'clock tonight in most of our regions as you can see here out on the coast, South Puget Sound, and of course up north in the Sound on Islands, we have to deal with the snow in the mountains. Rain and snow, 6 to 11 inches, possibly even more than that. Even at Snoqualmie and Stevens Pass, you can see temperatures going to be 30 to 35 degrees with your snow level at 2,000 feet. Past conditions right now, not too bad, but by the time we get to this evening, we're not going to be sure as to what's going to happen with all of that snow that's going to fall. In fact, from now until tomorrow at this time, let's see how much snow we're going to get. Take a look at it. Possibly 15 inches at Snoqualmie Pass, 29 inches Stevens Pass. How about 58 inches at Mount Baker? This is between now and tomorrow evening, so a lot of snow coming until we get more calm weather. So rainy, windy, some afternoon thunderstorms possible and a high of 49 today, 52 on Tuesday. And then you could see, look at this, Thursday, calm, sunny and much warmer and 68 degrees. And then some showers return as we head on into the weekend.